Should you move to Estonia if you are an IT professional in 2024? Yes. Should you move to Estonia if you want to study marketing? No. Should you move to Estonia if you are in love with an Estonian and you want to marry them and move here? Well, let's wait till the end of the video for that answer. Hello everybody, my name is Manan. For the last nine years I have been living in Estonia and I got an Estonian citizenship coming all the way from Pakistan. For for the past five years, I have been helping people through my YouTube channel on life in Estonia, how to move here, how to live here, and all the aspects that can be challenging for a foreigner who wants to move to Estonia. Now, as I said, I have helped thousands of people move to Estonia. In this video, I want to explain seven the most common cases that I see who are interested in moving to Estonia, and I will tell you by each case, should you move to Estonia or not, and what is the reason. Let's go. Case number one, you are an ideal. IT professional who wants to immigrate to not Estonia but Europe from a developing country. Yes, you should absolutely think about moving to Estonia. Now, important thing to note here is that IT jobs are not as common in Estonia anymore in 2023 as they were in the last few years. I am seeing a greater reduction in IT related jobs. In fact, there have been quite a few layoffs and as you can also see in this graph here, the unemployment rate is very, very very high. But despite that, I still think that by the end or mids of 2024, we will see a bounce back and these IT jobs will start to come up again. Note that right now there are a lot of layoffs going on here right now, and it might be very challenging for you to find a job here in Estonia. Now, the important thing here to note is that I said, if you want to immigrate to Europe, now Estonia for many, many people is the easiest gateway to Europe. I have seen many people who come to Estonia work here for a couple of years and then find a better job abroad in some other European countries because life in Estonia can be challenging and if you're not up for it then yeah you have a choice that you can move somewhere else as well but in 2024 to recap IT professionals are still very much needed even though there are not many jobs and you have a very good chance probably in the mid to end of 2024 of getting a really good job here in Estonia now if you are looking for a job here in Estonia then I have created a video what are the best practices that you can find a job in Estonia. Best tips, you can find it here. Case number two, you are a professional in a regulated industry, like you are a doctor, you are a nurse, you are a dentist, or you are an architect. Now, these people will find it very difficult to move to Estonia. This is due to many different reasons. The first one being that you need to have a license. You need to find a license in order to work here in Estonia. In case of medical professionals, it can become really, really challenging because you need to speak Estonian very, very well, much more than the normal conversational level that we have in order to pass your licensing exam. It can take you many years and there have been very few cases of people who have successfully moved here from abroad and practicing here a medical degree, especially if they're from non-EU. So if you are from this kind of profession, I would include architects in that as well because you also need to have a license. I would recommend that you don't consider moving to a Estonia because you will spend a lot of time just trying to get the license, the language and everything right. It might take you two to three years. And within that time, you can actually invest in moving to some other country which has some more job opportunities in these particular areas. So are you a doctor, a dentist or an architect who wants to move to Estonia? Should you move to Estonia? No. Case number three, you are a person who wants to retire in Europe from the USA. Now, this is a case that I have been seeing quite recently and there have been a few questions to me about this particular matter, but I'm seeing a lot of interest in the people, particularly from the USA, who have done their professional life and who just want to have a nice time in their retirement moving to some other country. Now, why is Estonia good for that? Now, one of the things that I've always mentioned is that Estonia is actually a very nice country to recharge, relax, be by yourself. If you want peace and quiet, there is no better place than Estonia. Also, if you are coming particularly from the US and from a bit expensive centers like, for example, New York or, for example, California, then Estonia might still be quite cheap for you to live in. Your living expenses can be managed quite easily and you can live a reasonably good life here in Estonia if you want peace and quiet. So are you a retired professional who wants to have peace and quiet and live within your means? Then Estonia, you should definitely move. 
Case number four, you are a student who wants to study IT or any such related field. Should you move to Estonia? Yes. Now, Estonia does not have many world ranking universities. The highest ranking university in Estonia is University of Tartu, which is at 358. But they have a really good IT program as well. In addition, I've heard many good things about the cybersecurity program in Estonia, which is also in Taltec as well. Now, if you are a student who is particularly interested in these two fields, then Estonia can be a really good place for you. Even though there are programs which might be much better, much better highly ranked in Germany, in the USA and in UK, the thing is that Estonia has the infrastructure for startups, for upbringing new talent, especially in the IT industry. Many startups are formed here in Estonia and the environment is really good that you can form something of your own. If you think long term and you want to be in the IT industry, you want to make some business, you want to make some startups, startup, then Estonia can be a really good place to study. You can make connections, you can work in relevant industry, and you can find even much better opportunities than any place else in the world. It's all about making connections when you are a student. So I highly recommend students who want to study IT or related fields such as cybersecurity to definitely consider moving to Estonia. Number five, you have a business outside of the European Union and you want to set it up in the EU. Should you consider moving to Estonia? Yes, absolutely yes. As I have spoken before in my previous videos as well, Estonia has a really, really good infrastructure there to support businesses. Now, the taxation is not the most competitive. I mean, the social tax is 33% and also the income tax has been increased to 22% as well. But regardless of that, the systems are really much in place that you don't have much hassle. Everything can be done online and things are very, very, very fast here in Estonia. So if you are a non-EU business owner and you want to set up a business in the European Union, then Estonia is one of the best places that you can do that. In fact, one of the ways that you can actually do that is through the Estonian e-residency program, which I have talked about here. Now, if you are not a business owner, but you are a digital nomad who is working with some other companies, then you also have the possibility to move to Estonia. And I would highly recommend that you do move to Estonia because it will give you a chance to check out this country and all region itself as well. The Estonian digital nomad visa, I have talked about that in detail. And if you want to know more, you can check out the video here. Case number six, you are from a developing country and you want to have an alternate passport for yourself. Now, having an alternative passport is something that many people in Europe and the US don't understand because you are already born with such a powerful document. But the problem and the reality is that many people in the developing world face a lot of problems just because of what their passport is and because of what they're born. Even if you are doing everything right, your passport can be a big, big drawback. And this is one of the reasons why many professionals immigrate to Europe and the US. In fact, this is a really big issue and I have talked about that in detail in my video here. Now, why should you not consider Estonia as an alternate uh, passport? The reason is quite simple is that the passport requirements are very strict and they are not really worth it because there are much better options for you available. Now, an Estonian passport takes eight years. You have to give the language exam. And in addition, you are not allowed dual citizenship. So you cannot hold two passports at the same time. If you are looking for an alternative passport in the shortest possible time, then the best option is Canada, which is doing this in almost three years and with very less requirements. Germany is also recently launching a scheme where they will be able to give you a passport in about five years. I think this is going to be a really big game changer because a lot of professionals, even from Estonia, will probably consider moving to Germany just because of that. So if you are moving to Estonia, just for the passport, I really don't recommend that at all. Number seven and final, you are moving to Estonia because you are in love with a person from Estonia and you are moving to Estonia just for that. Should you move to Estonia? No. Now, this is just my personal opinion, so please understand that. And this opinion is based on talking to many, many, many people who moved to Estonia just for this purpose. And I know many people who are actually in the process of moving to Estonia because they are reuniting with somebody that they fall in love with online or somebody they met outside 
Republic of Estonia. Now, why I don't recommend that? Now, the reason is that in almost more than 90% of the cases, a relationship that starts maybe online or maybe somewhere outside of Estonia, when you do finally meet and you get to spend time together, it is not the same. I mean, I have seen in more than 90% of the cases, people getting divorced, I mean, after having children, and I haven't seen majority cases which are happy marriages. I'm sure there are many cases which are doing quite happily, but in general, I have seen that it doesn't work quite well. Now, what do you do if you are already in love with the person and you are already in the process of moving to Estonia? Are you telling me, Manan, that I should like just leave them? No, you don't have to leave them. But the more important thing is to understand that you don't just move to Estonia because of one person. Because moving here is going to be really challenging, it's going to be really hard, and you need a reason other than just the person to stay here in Estonia. So if you are moving to Estonia because of that one person, I recommend that you start looking for a job ASAP, you start to build a social circle that is independent of your partner, and you start to cultivate actual connections with the country that are independent of your spouse. That is very important because if you move to Estonia and you fall into hardships, which you will have very difficulty in at first, then you will start blaming the person that you moved all the way here just for them. But anyway, this is just my personal opinion based on the experiences that I have seen and I've heard and talked to many, many people like that as well. So on that note, I wish you all the best. If you are considering moving to Estonia, then please subscribe to my channel. Please like and please share because you will not find a resource that talks about life in Estonia in as much detail or as depth as this channel. I wish you all the best. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.